People living in trailers and RVs are being evicted from a Cumberland County campground, and some folks there are worried about becoming homeless. Fox 43's Matt Kleindance was in Dickinson Township as people are trying to figure out where they'll go next. It's, it's home. This is right. my home. Natalie Pfeiffer is one of dozens of people who have called Cherokee Campground their home. The campground served as a fresh start for Pfeiffer and her three kids after escaping domestic violence. I love it here. We have so much fun here. It's a wonderful community. There's no riffraff. Now she's scrambling for options after her and 32 other households were told to leave the campground in 30 days. We all work hard. It's just a shame. Now, what do you mean now we have to leave? Like, we're, we're not doing anything wrong. Cherokee Campground sent eviction notices after Dickinson Township officials told the owners it couldn't have permanent residents. Which is against the ordinances. It, it's a campground. It's not a rental property. Township Manager Larry Barrick says he learned about the people living on the campground a few days ago. He says the township started looking into the campground after receiving noise and trash complaints. Some of the complaints were... Uh, Rats because the overload of trash that's laying outside the dumpsters. Noise complaints from loud music every weekend or in nightly. Multiple people living at the campground say they fear becoming homeless, saying they can't afford to go anywhere else. For 600 a month, where are you going to go run a place for that? where everything's included like that. Mm -hmm. You're not. And some of us can't afford thousands of dollars to go run a place. I can. Residents say they're asking Cumberland County and state officials to reach out and provide help. We have nothing against this campground, nothing against Nader. And nothing bad to say about it because... It's nobody wants to help through the state or yeah. the county. I called the owner of Cherokee Campground who didn't want to comment for the story. Matt Kleindance, Fox 43 News.